how to create gradient strips in Photoshop. An example such as this. Basically it's made up of 12 columns and I've applied different gradients to each of those columns. And it creates really interesting backgrounds which you can of course use with type, many other things. So you can see the various gradients, they're all individual gradients, some created using the same gradient and some just using different gradient lengths and gradient origins. So just going to fill that now with white and I'm going to start. Now to make it really easy without just doing it by your eye, just go to view and new guide layout. Now it gives nice guides which you can just then, obviously you've got 12 guides, so you can just fill those guides for using selections. You could of course just do it visually, but it, if you want them obviously uneven, it doesn't particularly matter. But with the guides, you've just got 12 nicely even columns. Rows are off, columns are on, 12. Click OK. Once you're happy with that guide and also make certain that the snap is on. So view and snap. Go to snap and just see the guides, layers, etc. All on. And now, once you've done that, just go over to the rectangular marquee tool. I want to add a selection. I'm going to use this guide now just to add that selection. So just select there and then just drag from the top down to the bottom and you can see it just snaps nicely to those guides. So, and one good thing about the rectangular marquee tool, once you've actually got that, you can then select that selection and just drag it along. Select the gradient and then an actual preset, one of the presets, there's a whole range of different presets there. Select one of those and you can also bring in additional ones via the load command as well as some of the ones that come with Photoshop. Also you can see what some that are from gradient graphic extras as well. Okay, set the blending mode to normal and I'm going to be using linear. I'm also going to hold down the shift key so the actual gradient is applied linearly and it's not sort of skew if when you go down. So you can just see it nicely straight line there. And you can apply it multiple times, changing the length. Once you're happy with the gradient, you can stop and then move to the next cell. So at that point, go to the rectangular marquee tool and then just drag that selection along. And you can just move it around. So you can see it just, it can break the snap, but you, it nicely snaps into that bit there. So just put it that column. Going back to the gradient tool, set to different gradient and just apply. And again, you can apply it multiple times until you're happy with the gradient. Okay, rectangular. Drag that again. Now it doesn't even matter if you actually use the same gradient, you can apply the same gradient, but just change the length, change the origin point. So and you can then, obviously you can change your mind, you can go to another gradient, rectangular, and again, move that around, put it into that cell, gradient tool, Select that one, just drag there. And again, you can go as long or as short as you want with the gradient, change the origins, makes some interesting different gradient designs. Now, select a gradient there. Now, you can also set the blending mode to difference. That's quite useful. So set it to difference, and then you can use the same gradient over and over again but maybe changing the different start positions and lengths. And then you just create a variety of different gradients just from the same gradient. So again, same gradient, using that difference. And then you can see, just apply it a couple of times and you've got more like red and pink or green and pink and so and so on. Just move that along. Okay, change different. You can even start from the bottom up or up and down, up to you. Again, difference is the key thing here. Also, you can see you've got reverse as an option for the gradient as well. So I'm just going to, so just go there. You just see it the, along the top bar, you've got reverse. You can actually deselect that or select it, depending if it's selected or not. And that also can mean the same gradient can be used, but it reverses the gradient. So, so you can create, again, different, more unusual colours. Apply it again, just down that way. 
And so once you're happy with it, go back to the rectangular marquee tool, drag, and then gradient, like again. And you see, same gradient, create thousands of different gradients from that. Unique ones. Okay, nearly finished. So just gonna, there. Right, you can clear the guides now. Just go select and deselect for removing the selection and view and clear guides. And that's it. Now, I'm actually gonna continue a bit more. I'm just gonna show you image adjustments. And I'm gonna, you've got vibrance, hue saturation, but I'm just gonna go with color lookup. And you've got a whole range of different color lookups there. So you can just run through those and you can tweak the color, create some very interesting colorful designs just by changing the color. So once you're happy with that, click OK. And of course, you can go back again, just adjustments and color look up again, or maybe one of the other ones as well. No, some don't work particularly well. Yeah, so that one. And then click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe, always add new videos. And also, please add some comments. Always great to hear. Thank you much.